my beautiful babes and gabes of the world it's your girl keelan aka it's keelan and i am back with another mother freaking video <laughs> an in-depth in easy beginner makeup tutorial for you guys I'm doing this because or beginner friendly easy you know you know what I'm trying to say but I'm doing this because a lot of people are just starting out in makeup a lot of people ask me to do this and because um, I'm gonna show you guys that you don't need all the um, what is it all the high-end brushes and all of this and all of this to get started with your makeup journey as you guys saw in my last video what's in my makeup case i do have a lot of uh you know like high-end makeup products like um and stuff like that but when i first started doing makeup i did not have any of that i had a couple palettes like it was like a nude smoky palette that you bought from Walmart I had the other version of that that you bought and that I bought from Walmart I ordered stuff off of Amazon because you don't need it to get started yes as um, as you go along you know you will want to see oh I want to see what this palette's about this palette's about but you don't need the high-end makeup products to get started honestly I use a bunch of um, uh, drugstore products like this is my Milani um, uh, what is it my face oil it is drugstore um, my foundation is Milani it is drugstore so um, you don't need a lot of high-end products to start off you don't need it even to finish I've done a lot of people's makeup with drugstore makeup and it turned out perfectly fine so that's why I wanted to do this video today. So to start off, I normally do my brows off camera, but I'm gonna do them on camera for the sake of this video because I want you guys to get the full effects. So for brows, I started off with an eyebrow pencil um, and upgraded my way, or upgraded, but like transitioned my way into um, pomade. Now I don't have an eyebrow pencil because I ran out, but I honestly used the NYX, or not the NYX, the, the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil, and I'll show you guys what it looks like because I still have it because I use it for the spoolie. So as you can see, my e.l.f. pencil is really old. Um, the words are fading off of it and everything like that, but I use, I think this is the one in, yeah, this is the e.l.f. pencil in neutral brown. And so what it is, it's, it's a retractable side. It has a retractable side on this side, which as you can tell, I used it to the, to the to the max. So, and it has a spoolie on this side. So when I first start off my eyebrows, I like to brush them up. And if I had the pencil, I would go under and trace the um, under like under my eyebrow right here I would do that and then trace on top and then I would fill it in with pomade now I've gotten used to just pomade so I know how to do it with just using pomade so what I have for pomade I have the L'Oreal Paris um, 214 which is warm brunette um, and this is it's the eyebrow pomade as I mentioned this is what it well this isn't what it looks like but it's pretty much what it looks like I need to obviously get more and I like to use just an angled eyebrow brush as you can see here it's an angled brush so you can really get in contour and you not contour but get in the contours of your eyebrow so um I'm just gonna take my brush and dip it in there get a good amount on it as you guys can see now for this I like to go have the mirror close up just so I can see it this is a two-sided mirror so it's regular on one side and then uh, it zooms in on the other side so I just like to go and start from the top of my, the front end of my eyebrow and just trace all the way to the um, tail of my eyebrow so 
So now that we have our outline, it's gonna shape our eyebrow. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the top. Now when I do the top of my eyebrow, I do not like to um, go all the way, trace all the way where I did to the, um, for the bottom part. I like to go literally in this, the middle and then I will trace um, or bring my two lines together to connect. Now for the top portion of my eyebrow, I like to just fill it in with what's ever left on the brush. So I feel it, I fill it in where the sparse areas are. And then after that, I take a spoolie and I just brush. So it all blends in together. Because you know, your eyebrows do have that gradient effect. As you can see, it goes from lighter to, or to darker. That's how you still wanna make it look. So after I have shaped my eyebrow, I like to you go in with concealer. Normally I use the Maybelline um, Infallible Glow Pro Glow Concealer, but I ran out. So I'm gonna just use, again, Drugstore 2. Maybelline is too, but it's the Pro Fusion Conceal Palette. I've had this for such a long time that it's pretty much almost out. Now what you wanna do for concealer is you want to find a shade that is not too light but lighter than your um your skin because what it is it's it's a highlight pretty much so i'm going to find a brush and i'm going to show you what brush i use now the brushes i use can also be different from br uh, brushes other people use because i've seen people use let's see i've seen people use just i like to use a uh concealer brush I don't even know if this is honestly but it's a flat brush I like to use a flat brush and it is a concealer brush I like to use a square uh, brush as far as getting straight underneath their eyebrow some people like to use a flat concealer brush this is pretty much what I like to use it's all depend it all depends on what you're comfortable with using so I'm gonna go ahead and go into my concealer and normally when I do um, the concealer palette, normally when I do it, I pretty much do this shade here. I don't even remember what it's called because it's been that long because it's a little bit lighter than me. You don't want it to be too, um, too light to where you can't, I mean, it just doesn't look appealing to the eye. So what I did was it looks a lot brighter on camera i'm just being honest because it's not that bright but it's because of the ring light and all that but what i did was i took this um i took the concealer brush and i pretty much went right under that line to clean it up for any mistakes that have that may have happened while we were um drawing our eyebrow so then after that i would normally just sweep it down onto the eye because that can if you don't have eyelid, um, if you don't have eyeshadow primer, this can act as a primer as well. So for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna sweep it down onto the eye and then continue on. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and with a damp beauty blender, now to get your beauty blender damp, you can take whatever spray. I use my Mario Badescu spray for pretty much everything. Damp your beauty blender, you can use your setting spray, anything you have, um, and I just spray it a couple times and get it damp. So you're gonna take your damp beauty blender um, and then you're just gonna pounce it onto the eye to blend out the concealer even more. I do want to make, I mean, I do want to point out that because I didn't start, I mean, say this before I started the video, um, that you will, what you want to make sure that your face is clean. You have a clean canvas to start off with. So before, obviously when I wake up in the morning, I always wash my face. That's why I have my, you can see my face is shiny from my moisturizer and I have cleaned my face. Um, so that is a big deal. You want to make sure that you start off with a clean canvas it just makes it it's easier for you to apply your makeup if you have a clean canvas um so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my other eyebrow off camera and then i'll be back for the next step 
okay so continuing on with our eyebrow now we're going to talk about the top of the eyebrow now some people do not like to shape the top of your eye their eyebrow and that's perfectly fine it's their option or i'm not going to say shape but conceal the top of their eyebrow that's their option i do but what i do is i go in with a darker color on top just so it's um kind of like it matches my skin tone so this concealer will be the concealer i use and then i just go ahead and give it a nice little shape up on the top of the eyebrow some people don't do this they like it to be look as natural as possible i just like a clean cut defined eyebrow so i'm gonna do this again it's all up to your preference So now that I have concealed my eyebrows and they're kind of looking like sisters and not like distant cousins, we're going to move on. Now, if you guys wanted more in-depth tutorial of eyebrows, let me know down below and I definitely will deliver. I kind of just like sped through this because I want to do the whole face. But if you guys do want an in-depth tutorial of how to do your eyebrows, just let me know. I'll gladly do it. So, um, now that we have our eyebrows done, I'm going to move on to my eyes. Now, some people like to do their face first and then their eyes last. I personally like to do the face, I mean the face last and then the eyebrows first because sometimes there's fallout. When there's fallout and you have a full face or your base already done, it tends to mess up and you know, I just like to avoid that part. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a really basic eye look that you can achieve for every day so some of you guys might not have this palette but i'm going to show it because um this is pretty much what i do all my nude looks with if you can find if you can get this palette or even find a dupe of this palette i definitely recommend but it's the nubian the um nubian palette by juvia's juvia's pal uh, palettes are not expensive at all um i honestly got this when it was on sale for ten dollars on their website i'm gonna go on their website right now and just search how much the nubian palette is because they have a lot of sales going on right now so let's go to their website juvia's so the nubian palette is um it's regular price $20 they also have a Nubian mini which is $10 but right now it's on sale for $6 so I'm just saying you can always catch them when they have really great deals I caught them when this is literally $10 so if you want to dibble and dabble in it this is what it looks like on the inside the mini just has like six of these colors the essential colors that you need so the first color we're going to go into just to sweep across the entire eye to create a trans transition color now when you when people say transition color um it's pretty much a color that blends all of the other colors together that's pretty much what they mean so it's more like it's most likely just a neutral color so normally for that it's either a, it's a brown it's a neutral neutral brown other times if you're doing um bolder looks it may not be brown but for if it's a nude look it's going to be a neutral the neutralest brown you have in your palette um so i'm just going to go ahead and i just swivel it and it does have fallout and then you just tap off the excess and then just go windshield wiper motions or you can do circular motions it's all up to what you're comfortable with doing i find that if i do windshield wiper motions it's easier for me to blend out I also find that the farther away you hold the brush, the more control you have on the brush. Like you can do this, but it's it feels awkward and you don't really have that much control. But if you hold it farther away, you have control over literally where it's going. Like it does not fall out of your hand at all. So I, that's just the brush technique. You can use it, you cannot use it. It's all up to you. So then I just like to sweep it all over my eye to where it looks like this like you have color on your eye so then we're just gonna go ahead and do it again on the other eye so now that I have that I'm gonna try and my, try my best to keep this as neutral as simple as possible um so I'm gonna go in with this this brown here they did for this Nubian palette it really doesn't have any uh shades on or colors on there or names is what i'm trying to say any names on it so i'm just going to point into it but i'm going to go into this lighter brown and i'm just going to sweep that in my crease and what that is the crease is just where your eye opens and 
where you can see the crease. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now, um, you can, if you don't have a lot of brushes, I, again, for brushes, I bought mine off of Amazon. These are literally, bought these off of Amazon for $10 and it came with a pack of like 10, I believe. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go in with an, uh, another fluffy brush and go into that brown and do the exact same thing I did with the um, transition color, but just in my crease. So then you get something like this. Now, for everyday looks, you know, you're gonna wanna keep it simple, something. It may look like a lot at first, but I'm gonna, I'm telling you guys, it's not. For the next step I like to do is I like to also make sure once I blend it into my crease, I go down and I just take it from underneath my crease and end it into the outer corner of my eye, the outer third of my eye. And I just do that on both sides of my eyes. Now this next step is really simple you're just going to take a shimmer a shimmer color of your choice whatever shimmer color you're feeling i like to stick with the neutrals the golds and everything like that so you're going to take that and you're just going to um if you have a brush you can just sweep it onto or pat it onto the eye or if you have a finger you can also pat it onto your eye with your finger i like to use a brush just because i don't really like my fingers to get messy that's just my prefer pres personal preference a lot of people do like to use their fingers because it, they say they have they get more color that way i tend to go with like a neutral color like this this gold here i just pack it onto my brush i spray my brush with uh, my either setting spray or my mario spray and i feel like you get a lot of color that way as well now people just literally pat it onto their eye As you can tell, I am also going to bring it all the way over and blend it out. So what I'm doing is you can tell it's ombre. It looks like it's gold, like all gold, and then it ombre out to the brown. So that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that there's no harsh lines. If you have a harsh line, you can definitely go back in with your brush and just blend it out like so. And it'll erase that harsh line because you want to make sure everything is blended and together if you have harsh lines it just makes it look like this 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 like separation you want it to all blend and flow together as well so normally um i would go in and i would do a lot more like add more definition to my eyes and everything like that but today we're just going to keep it simple because it is a beginner friendly tutorial so Next is mascara. Now before I had mascara, like the high-end mascara, I used this. Now, this is literally Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus. It is also waterproof mascara. Now this will go a long way. You can use this, but I am out of this. So I am going to go, um, I honestly swear by this and I, I still wear this. If I had more, I would definitely put this on for you guys just so you guys can see it. But for um, since I don't have any more, I'm just gonna go into my tart and I got this as a free gift for my birthday. Um, so this is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I honestly, I never used any Tarte products before this year i'm just gonna be on well 20 the end of 2019 going into 2020 so for me to i can't swear by tart because i really don't wear tart like that i want to dibble and dabble but i don't so i'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys how this looks Now what you see me saw me doing was evenly putting the mascara on each of my eyelashes and to do that I separated it as well that's why you saw me doing a lot of this moving and going up as I do it now this is what it so again without mascara with mascara so you can definitely tell there's a big difference now for me I a lot of people curl their eyelashes I have naturally curly eyelashes so I don't feel the need that I have to do that so we're just gonna go ahead with the next eyelash I mean, well, yeah, my other eye and do the mascara. Now that I have my eyelashes coated with mascara, I normally would do lashes, but for this video, I'm gonna keep it really simple because the lashes I have are 
bold and out there not a lot of people like that so i'm just going to keep my natural lashes with mascara on so um i'm going to go ahead and the next step is my face i'm going to go ahead and prime my face now i have the nyx studio perfect photo loving primer i love this stuff it feels amazing on your skin and it just does wonders now i like to just take a take a this amount i don't know a dime nickel quarter i don't know an amount and put it on the back of my hand and then i just go in with a clean brush and then i just literally dab it into my skin and there this product is really, it's really lightweight. You really feel nothing on your skin. You feel like you're just brushing the brush on your skin. That's how lightweight it is. It's not oily. It's just, I love this product. Now, other people may have different opinions, but it also is what works with their skin. This works lovely for my skin. It may not work different, I mean, work well for other people's skin because we all have different skin types. So the next thing I like to do is go in with my foundation. Um, I use again Milani foundation. This is the conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer And it's pretty full of coverage if you ask me that's another reason why uh, or that's the reason I use this product because it is full coverage So I just again like to take it on the back of my hand as y'all can tell I'm running out So if that doesn't work unscrew it and just put it on the back of your hand now what I like to do is different from other people, um, or some people may do this, it's just all by preference. I like to take a makeup a foundation brush and I like to go ahead, dabble it on my skin, and then I just like to blend it in. But I like to go in with my beauty blender afterwards and just make sure that it's blended in even more. So what you do with your foundation is you take it on the brush and you just literally press it into your skin and you blend it. You want to make sure you're blending your ears you want everything to be one color all the way down to your neck all one color Now again, I like to go in with my damp beauty blender. Uh, if it's not damp enough or it's dried out, reapply some spray and it's good as new and just press that into the skin as well. So now that that is done, um, at this time is concealer. Now concealer is pretty much what highlights the face, what brightens the face. It just brings more attention to your um, like dark, not brings attention, but it conceals your dark circles and stuff like that or your bags. It just brightens it so that it looks like you don't have it pretty much. So I like to go on with the bigger conceal brush. And then I take the concealer that I did my eyebrow, the under part of my eyebrow with. And I like to go in a downward triangle because I just feel like that's how you get more, it, it covers it more. Then I like to conceal the bridge of my nose and my the center of my forehead. That's what this is called. Now I used to I used to conceal like underneath my um what is this jawline? I don't really do that so much anymore. I just don't feel the perfect like I don't feel that I have to after because I'll show you guys after I bake. It looks like I concealed anyway. Um, but I like to go ahead and conceal my top lip and underneath on my chin. So then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in with my beauty blender. You see how it just, it just gives your face like a extra oomph of shine and of highlight. That's what, 
that's what it does that's what, why we use concealer well one of the many reasons why you use concealer Now I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting powder. Now this is bana uh, banana, but this is a translucent setting powder. Um, for that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I like to take this end of my beauty blender, go ahead and, and by the way, this is a real Techniques, Techniques beauty blender, so it was like maybe five or six bucks, maybe, if that much. And I like to just go ahead and press it on to my concealer. This pretty much sets it so it's not going anywhere. There's no creases, no nothing. Now, while that is baking, because or setting as that's a term i'm gonna go in with my contour now this is the brush i like to use for contour it's the i think this is an elf brush yeah this is an elf brush and it literally says elf contouring so this brush right here is it gets literally in that jaw in the jaw line so as i mentioned this is the contour palette i swear by i really like using this if you are a beginner it has literally where you contour, sculpt, and bronze at, or highlight, or contour, sculpt, and highlight. Um, it shows you the diagram up here. You follow it, and it's pretty much self-explanatory. So I'm just gonna go into the contour part, and I am going to sculpt out my jawline. Even though I have high cheekbones already, but this just defines it even more. Now, I am gonna mention for contour, as you can tell you, when you have a not natural contour, you do not bring it all the way down here. You stop literally right there because as you can tell, it just gives it that extra oomph where you want it to be. So mid apple of your cheek is where you wanna stop, is where I stop and you can definitely tell a difference. I contoured my forehead, my cheekbones, and my jawline. Now for your jawline, um, if you have a strong jawline, you don't really need to contour. I don't really have a strong jaw jawline, as you guys can tell, I have a round face, so I like to contour a jawline. Just to make it, just, just the different angles make it look better in my opinion. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take some more setting powder and clean up the contour. So you really don't need this to sit on there for that long. Um, I normally let it sit for like a minute or so. And then after that, I just go ahead and sweep it off. So what I do is I sweep it off with this fluffy, fluffy, fluffy brush um, just to get all that excess powder off. Just sweep it, sweep it, sweep it away. I normally what I like to do because after so much powder it can start to look a little cakey and stuff like that I like to just take either your setting spray or in this case I like to take my Mario spray and I just spray a few pumps just to break down the powder and then I just like to go ahead and just press it into the skin now next step is blush now if you're not a big blush fan you can definitely leave your face like this there's nothing wrong with that there are people out there that really don't like blush and that's a-okay it's your preference but i like blush so i'm gonna go ahead and go into my blush palette now i swear by this blush palette this is the profusion brush um blush palette it's literally six shades it has literally darker shades medium tone shades and your bright shades me i like to mix these two together and it creates a really cute blush in my opinion 
So I like to use these two shades here, the pink. Uh, this is called Juicy and Great. I like to normally mix those two together, as y'all can tell. Normally just mix those two together, dust off the excess, and just brush along the apples of my cheeks. Now you don't need a lot of blush. A little goes a long way with blush, just because if you put too much on, you notice you start to look like a clown. It's normally easier to smile with this um, this process because you can tell where the apples are when you smile. Like, that's your apples. Now this is also a preference. I recently started doing this, but I like to just take it along my nose and just blush just a little bit, just so I can have, it looks like I have a little cute rosy button nose because I already got like a little button pig nose going on. So I just like to make it if I'm gonna, if I got it, why not, in my opinion, just accentuate it. And that's blushing. Um, it, so it just literally looks like you have a natural blush going on literally all the time. So the next step after that, we're gonna go ahead and retouch up our eyes. Now, if you don't, if you like how your face looks now, you don't have to add anything under your eyes, but mascara. I personally like to finish the look off so what I like to do is go in with that brown that we had and I'm just going to smoke it underneath my eye. Now for this process I like to use a itty bitty itty bitty pencil brush just so that I don't mess up anything and I have complete control and it doesn't look too, too dirty is what I'm going to say. Now again this process is not necessary. You do not have to do it. It's just preference so next I'm just gonna go ahead and go under or go in with my mascara again but on my bottom lash line or bottom lashes and that just pulls the eye look together to me now you don't have to do this again so that's how I like to complete off my eyes now I'm gonna go in with highlight again I have the matching set this is the profusion highlight palette it also is a highlight and contour palette um i don't really use the contour in this too much now this palette is oh god this palette is really old so it is busted up like and also people stuck their fingers in it little kids and just yeah but i like to go into uh impulse and devoted now it's impulse and devoted and i like to if you want a more bold highlight i would go with impulse on my normal days, I just use either Devoted or I think this is Heartfelt. So I'm gonna show you guys how I apply highlight. Now I use this blush, this brush here, and I go in, I'm just gonna go into Heartfelt just because it's, it's more of a cool down highlight. It's not really bold and in your face. Obviously dust off that excess. And I literally put it right there. Now you can't really tell I have on highlight. Now that's what you, if you are going for a more subtle look, this is the perfect highlight for you. And you just highlight those cheekbones. I like to highlight up here as well, above the brow. For underneath my eyebrow, this is just my personal preference. I either go in with Devoted or Impulse. Impulse is a little bit more out there, so I'm gonna just keep it simple today and go with Devoted because it's not as bold as Impulse is. So this for this, I'm just gonna take a pencil brush again, but it's a bigger one this time. Go into Devoted and just literally highlight the brow bone. And that's what it looks like now for um, my inner corners of my eye I am going to use impulse and I'm going to show you guys how it looks this is how it looks just keeping it subtle I'm not really going into a lot of highlight normally normally y'all I got like two or three highlights on and normally I'm using this is not mine this is actually D'Angela's but this is a powder a loose powder um highlight and it is bold and it is out there that's normally what I use but for the bridge of the nose you or the you just want to add a little highlight to your nose and then 
carry it up the center. Now it's pretty much, it looks like you have a exclamation mark on your nose. So what you wanna do is you can blend that out with your finger and just keep rubbing it in until you're satisfied with how it looks. Now the last is lip. I don't really like using lip sticks or um, I'm more of a gloss person. But for this, I would normally do like a, just a neutral brown lip. I don't really want to today. So I'm just gonna keep it simple with some gloss. As y'all know, I have my own lip gloss line. So I, my favorite lip gloss, this isn't my favorite, but this is the one I've been using a lot. This one is, I'm not gonna say it's not my favorite because all of my lip glosses are my favorite, but this one is Pixie Dust. And um, this has literally just five different glitters in it just to give it a really, really cute um, shine. As y'all can see, I use it a lot because it's almost gone. But I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks on the lips. And this is what Pixie Dust looks like on your lips. So the last step is obviously setting your face. I normally have my Mil Milani setting spray or my NYX setting spray, but for some reason I can't find either. So I'm just gonna set it with my Mario spray. And there you have it guys, you have a, a simple and subtle everyday look that is beginner friendly. Um, normally this takes me a little bit like maybe 20 minutes to do, 20, 25, maybe 30 minutes to do. But I wanted to make sure that you guys understood literally everything and the process to do. So I'm sorry if this video is long. I pretty I know it's gonna be on the longer side, but I just wanted to make sure you guys got everything in full detail. If I missed something or if you guys want me to go over something or if you want me to do something else like um, lashes and how to apply lashes, I will gladly do that for you guys. In my next video, just comment down below and let me know what you guys wanna see. Um, don't forget to give this video video a big ol' thumbs up. It really, really helps me out a lot. Comment, share, subscribe. Turn on that bell notification so you can see whenever I post. Join my sister fam. I would love to have you. We would love to have you. And without further ado, always remember to stay classy and a little bit trashy. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.